Hey guys, welcome to Tuesday Talks with the Green Bay Doulas. I'm Emily Jacobson. So, this week I want to talk about something that has been coming up a lot in our childbirth education classes. And at the end of class, I always ask people, like, what is one thing where you're like, what's your Oprah aha moment? Like, was there something during this class that made you like, oh wow, I had no idea. And most of them say, we had no idea if my water broke, we didn't have to immediately rush to the hospital. Some cases, yeah, you should rush to the hospital. In other cases, not necessarily. So there is an acronym we use called COAT. You can also use TACO, but I don't really want to ruin tacos for people. So COAT stands for color, odor, amount, and time. So when your water breaks, you want to notice the color. It should be clear. If it's green or brown, you go to the hospital. The um, odor, is it just like a normal, um, musky smell kind of thing. It doesn't really have an odor to it, but it has like a bit of a tinge, but it's the smell of amniotic fluid. And then the um, amount, was it more of a trickle or was it a gush? Now some people can't decipher between did I pee myself and is it a trickle? Because there's two bags, there's a hind bag and a four bag, and sometimes um, the bag kind of springs a leak. <laughs> so you're not like, I know I emptied my bladder, maybe this is something. So. Um, we also help our, our clients navigate that one as well. And then what time? And so if your water were to break at home, everything's clear, um, it was a normal odor, the, you know, it was a trickle or a gush, um, you know the time, uh, you don't always have to go in right away. And I say that very vaguely, don't always. Um, if labor were to start on its own within a little while, like grab a some food to eat, get a shower, finish packing your bags, things like that. Um, if labor doesn't kick in within a few hours, we always say, well, let's get the show on the road, let's go in. Otherwise, um, if, if it does start, then labor at home. There's no big deal. As long as there's not like a cord prolapse or the cord comes out um, first ahead of the baby. Obviously, there's a lot of things, there's a lot of politics and things to, to navigate with that. But just letting you know that if your water breaks, it doesn't mean rush to the hospital, that it's like this crazy emergency. It's not always that case. And so a lot of people find that support with Green Bay Doulas being able to say, calling us and being like, hey, this is what we think is happening. And there are times that clients have called us and said, hey, I sat in the bathroom, I went to the bathroom, and then all of a sudden, I think, I think I peed, and then I looked in the toilet and it was all like green and brown. Well, great, I'll meet you at the hospital. Um, so that's kind of my Tuesday talks for today, is it doesn't always mean emergent, so maybe have a conversation about it. The thing is, is that with a hospital, it's a liability thing. So if your water breaks and you go there, they're going to want to keep you. Um, and it's a liability thing. I understand the hospital and, and why they have certain things in practice and in place. So some people are like, well, I'll just go make sure it's my water and then I'll leave again. Easier said than done. You would have to sign out AMA, which is against medical advice. Um, not always, but sometimes that happens. And so being able to have those conversations with your doctor, um, understanding the nursing staff and where they're coming from, it doesn't have to be a battle. It's just about having informed choice and knowing what is best for you and your family. So that's my Tuesday Talks. Have a great day, guys. Bye.